Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm one of the product specialists here at LaserLines. In today's video, we're going to take you through the workflow process of using the Stratasys F370 3D printer. The F370 is part of the F123 series of Stratasys 3D printers and it's one of the most popular 3D printers because of its versatility, reliability, ease of use and most importantly material availability. The F123 series is formed of three 3D printers, the F170, F270 and F370 which we're going to be showing you in this video today. F370 is powered by the FDM technologies which is one of the oldest and most common methods used for 3D printing. FDM is also known as fused deposition modeling where your printer uses a thermoplastic filament which is then extruded via a fine bead onto your build platform. Once the first layer is extruded the bed would go down allowing for the next layer to continue and so on until you have a 3D printed part. With FDM you can also produce very complex parts which are allowed by the soluble support that is then put into a tank and is being dissolved. We want to show you how this is being done in today's video. So we're gonna go onto the printer, set up our part, and let's start putting the printer to use. So we've opened GrabCAD print and our part is loaded. Next to it, there is a sacrificial tower, which helps with the part quality. Now we're going to go to the tray setting, pick the material that we're printing the part in, which is ABFCF10, and pick the infill style, and we will go for a sparse high density. Our model is now set up and ready to be sent to the printer. Our part has now been sent to the printer, so we'll go over and start the print. The part that we picked is a medium sized part, as we wanted to demonstrate the size of the build platform for the F370. So the size is 355 by 254 by 355 millimeters, which is fairly large. In order to start printing, we're gonna do a few checks before. So we're gonna start by checking the material and support material are in place. We've got here four bays. Bay number one and two is for the model material. Bay three and four is what for the support material. The reason there are two is the material would auto change as well as the support in case you have a fairly large part that could be printing over the weekend or over a few days. So we'll go ahead and check the material which is in place and also support material is in place. So we are good to go. I'm gonna close this drawer, open the door. As you can see inside, the build platform is all in place. This is a heated build chamber which ventilates hot air across the full range of the part. If not, the model could end up curling from the bed or even worse, delaminate. Right at the back, you can see there are two tips. This is a dual extrusion head, so one is for the model material and one is for the support material. Right at the back, there are two brushes. The brushes help clean the tips of any leftover material. Every few layers, it would go up and clean the tips. If this wouldn't happen, then the leftover material couldn't end up being in your part. It also has a camera incorporated. This helps you supervise your print from your desk or even from home. Another good thing about the F370, it can be put on wireless, so you can send the part straight to the printer, or if you want to load it onto a USB stick, you can come and plug it in and then press print. So all the checks are now done in place. We're gonna close the door and we're ready to start our print. So our part has been loaded. I'm gonna press on it. Now it's ready to print. Press print. And our printer is ready. Our part is now finished. So let's go over to the printer and take a look at our part.
we've taken our part out, we're going to go into the next process, which is post-processing, and it's completely hands-free. So we're going to remove the part of the built platform and place it in the tank for the support to be dissolved. Our jig is now ready, the support has been removed and we've printed this part in ABS carbon fibre material. ABS carbon fibre is part of the more specialised materials available on the F370. Part of that we also have Duran material and a polycarbonate material. They are suitable for rigid and tough manufacturing tools. Some of the most popular materials used in 3D printing are ABS, ASA and PLA. These materials also run on the F370 and they are mainly used for prototyping or even in the education sector where students are being taught on how to use a 3D printer and 3D print their own parts. If you have an application where a flexible material is required, the F370 can run a TPU material, which is an elastomer suitable for various applications such as flexible hoses, tubes, air ducts, etc. Another specialised material available on the F370 is ABS ESD7. This material has static dissipative properties and it's suitable for applications including prototyping, fixture, support equipment for electronics industry or any other static sensitive applications. As you can see, the F370 has a wide range of materials available. If you're unsure which material is suitable for your application, please get in touch with us and we'll guide you through the process of choosing the right material for your application. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you need more information on the Stratasys F370 printer or any of the materials shown in this video, we're going to leave our details in the description below, so please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Thank you for watching!